All right, please welcome for the first time on the couch, Birdman. <laughs> Mardi Gras. Oh, without a doubt, it's Mardi Gras today. Okay. For a couple of days in New Orleans. Yeah. So shoe cam, from. please. Put your feet on those feet. Nope, nope. I'm da sorry. Bro. Really? I'm sorry. Hood. Bro. Model, go. Uh, you can cam. Twirl, twirl. Show them. Yeah. What you working with? That's my bird, man. I keep my, you know, I'm a, I'm a, what you call a marketing guru, so I only wear my own stuff. Oh, you have, you have a line? Yeah. I did not know. Yeah. How much do, do they retail? Well, I don't sell them. I get them specially made just for me. Oh. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous. Happy belated birthday. Thank you very much. Now, when you celebrated your 48th, you uh, tricked us all into saying that you were going to spend $48 million for no, your 48th. No, I didn't ever say I was going to So now you're 49. 49, 49, yes. And so what'd you do for yourself? Um, I never take birthdays like that. I look like life to me. Every day is a birthday, so I don't wait for. That's what birthday. I say. That's what I say. I'm not trying not to live my life waiting on a day to celebrate. So, and I know life is priceless, so I try to live every day like it's a birthday. Yeah. Well, were you with the Tony the Braxton? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We talk about you here on Hot Topics a lot. Right. Um, are you guys a couple? Well, T, that's my girl, my friend, my family. Do you have sex? <laughs> that's my love, my soldier, my life. She my everything and I trust her. Because you bought her a Bentley her. truck. Yes. So the implication is that's your girlfriend. She my life. I love her to death. <laughs> Well, I've been knowing T for a long time. Um, way back, like 17, 18 years, and um, really, things just happen. Because I, admittedly, on Hot Topics, said no bueno to this relationship. Like, I'm like, Tony, what are you doing? Honestly. Why, what's the problem? <laughs> your image, your... I'm just a gangster. That don't mean nothing. OK. Certified, too. Okay. But what that gotta do with love? Do I call you? <laughs> okay. 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 In the picture, she's wearing a wedding ring. Oh. So what's up with that? For life. Because Tamar implied that you're married. We're not married as of yet, but. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> so there are a lot of women in the family. Yes. Do you find it hard to deal with all the women? For me, it was just hard to accept love from them. Um, I think Miss E, Miss Evelyn, she's an angel. She did a great job with all her girls. For me, just growing up in the streets, not having the word love, it was hard for me to accept uh. them loving me and appreciating just the love that I brought to the table. So At that 49, was the hardest you're still saying that? Yeah. <clears throat> it happens. I really took life like, um, it was more about my business than love. I didn't care about none of that. After I lost my mama, my daddy, my brother, my sisters, the majority of my family, Jesus. it didn't really matter to me about love because all the love that I lost was gone already. So I put my life into my business and Everything that became love to me, what I love to do. So um, to accept somebody and another family that embraced me, wow. that was kind of hard for me to accept, but I eventually got it. Okay, got it. 
Um, <clears throat> so, I did the children count. I expected you to have a litter, like 15 kids <laughs> by 15 women. But he only has two children, and they're all grown. By one woman. By one woman. <laughs> Tell me about your kids. Um, my son, Lil Brian, which I really didn't want to rush my children into the business, because I knew they was born in this business. At some point in life, all the hard work that we did is going to be to them. So I wanted them to take their own pace and their own decision. My son about to graduate from college next year. Um, but he wants the business. If he wanted it or not, he born in it, so he got to live with it and accept it. So mm -hmm. I just, my, my brother Slim spent a lot of time with my son, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to make sure he was prepared for when he come into this business. I won't show him all, all the fakes, the sharks, everything that come with this game, even if he don't want to be in it, because he's going to inherit all our hard work yes. at some point in yes. life. So I, I didn't want to rush him in it, because I could have been had him on TV and doing a yes. lot of different things. And I just didn't want to rush him if they wasn't ready. And my daughter, she's like my everything. She's one year younger than, yes. than Brian. I consider her as my Miss Gladys. I lost my mom at two years old, so my daughter's like, mm -hmm. when she speaks, she's speaking volumes to me. and. She's my, my joy and my pain. I give my soul and my every piece of me to my girl. Do I call you Brian, Stunner, Birdman? What the hell do I call you? I would prefer you call me Brian. Brian. Yes. Okay. Hi, Brian. So now, on to Little Wayne. Yes. What happened was, it's a lot of moving parts with me and Wayne. And um, it's important to me that I fix that. I will fix that. And, um, and one day, you know, I brought him in the game before he even, his biological was still living. I was a father for him before he could even do things for himself. I did it for him. So and what I understand is what he was doing to get in touch with you was every day after school, he'd leave you voicemails. Yeah of raps. Yeah. And that was when he was nine. Yeah. And then how'd you end up calling him back? Um, a friend of mine's introduced me to Wayne. So when I first met him, he became like my son. Like, you know, in New Orleans, we don't have fathers a lot. A lot of parents get killed. Uh, a lot of parents don't be in our lives. Mm -hmm. So you end up hugging the block or hugging somebody who embrace you <clears> like <throat> a big brother. So, and I was that to Wayne, just like, you know, my brother Shaheed Muhammad, he was that to me because I lost my but dad. But now Wayne is suing you for millions and millions yeah. of dollars. Yeah. And he's got Carter Five yeah. on deck. Yes. He can't release that without getting released from you. So no. you're holding up his money. No, nah, you got it backwards. Okay. <laughs> okay. So talk you, about you, it. You reading the, you on the tabloids, you really got it backwards. Okay, talk about it. That's why you're here. True. Um, in a minute, it all gonna self-explain itself, and I ain't come here to explain that. I just came here to be a part of your show, and it's okay. nothing I can't really explain, but in due time, what I can tell you is, okay. at some point in life, you're gonna see me and Wayne working together again. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, Nick, Nick, Nicki Minaj has been missing in action. We talked about it the other day on Hot Topics. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen her. She has, her last post was December 30th, on the gram, where do you, what happened was? Well, I can't speak for Nikki, you know. Um, she got her own philosophy, but I do know she in the studio a lot, and mm -hmm. she working real hard, and I think, personally, she's the most talented female ever in hip-hop history. If nobody had done what she's done, or do what she did. Over Remy, over Kim? Kim, no disrespect to no woman that ever did the game. Numbers don't lie. Nikki have done more numbers than any female ever in the music yeah. industry. Yeah. All right. Tell me about the new movie, which sounds so interesting. It's a three-parter. Right. It's a okay. three-part. This part one is about the beginning of Cash Money on how I grew up just being raised in the projects with our parents. Um, Lost as a kid. Who raised you then? The streets. Wow. I was in boys' homes as a kid for three, four years. 
lined up every day, could be took to any family. My father was fortunate enough to get me back, and then wow. he passed after that. So um, just a lost young man trying to find a way. I got incarcerated a lot, and once I read the Bible, it changed my life about life. Look, Brian, I appreciate our conversation. Check it out. It's called Before Anything, available now at Apple Music.